I hope you were with us last Sunday when Ron Ludekens launched us into the New Testament. He gave us some great tools for what it means to study the words of Jesus and to understand more of the essence of the big picture of what Jesus has to speak to us about. In particular, Ron led us through the first few chapters of the Gospel of Mark. And in those chapters are some very difficult passages, but also some very revealing passages. The one that struck me the most and stuck out to me was the whole topic of the hardness of our hearts, when Jesus tells certain people that they have hard hearts. And what Jesus is talking about is he's talking about resistance and habits against what God is doing in our lives. And if we get out of practice or out of habit of what God is doing and listening to God and reading God's word and practicing the things of God, we develop a hard heart or a heart that's against the things of what God is doing. And when we develop a hard heart, the really bad news is that we get less of God in our lives. On the flip side, what happens if we practice habits of reading scripture and praying and letting God influence our lives and our decisions is that we get more of God to whom much is given, much is required. And when we get those things and we understand those things and we practice those things, the more and more we do, we get more of what a relationship with God is all about. So Jesus is really longing for us not to have hard hearts, but to resist the temptation and the tendency to have hard hearts and to develop very soft hearts and hearts that are bent and open to what God has to teach us. This Sunday, we move into some of the most common passages, popular passages from the Gospel of Matthew. It's the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount. These verses are some of the most iconic verses of all the Bible, and I'm excited to look together at them with you.